。でも、アンドロイドって聞くと、みんなスマホを想像しちゃうっぽいですが、私は人そっくりなロボットのアンドロイドですからね。We may be a long way from Netflix's altered carbon style future, but that doesn't mean we can't accomplish tremendous feats in engineering, artificial intelligence, and robotics. In today's video, we are going to discuss the best Japanese female robot that is just released. Before we begin, everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. World's most advanced robot. Before we go to the best female robot, Honda Motor Corporation's Asimo has been labeled the world's most advanced robot of today, with its humanoid form and ability to walk and climb stairs. However, it was surprising that this accomplishment of Japanese robotic innovation was not utilized in the reconnaissance and cleanup operation. At the Fukushima nuclear power plant during the crisis. Instead, military robots developed in the US were brought in. Perhaps this is because ASIMO was essentially a public relations tool whose primary purpose is to assist the elderly in their homes. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University have developed one of the most advanced snake like robots in the world, while a team at the University of California in Berkeley is working on insect sized robots. While ASIMO's mobility is amazing, Robotic snakes and bugs can access areas where Asimo cannot. As a result, the level of sophistication of a robot should be determined by the tasks it was created to complete. World's Most Advanced Humanoid Robot The Amica humanoid robot is made to interact with people and mimics natural human emotions. It has upgradable modular mechanisms and can be controlled by a cloud managed API dev kit. The business claims that its robot has made breakthroughs in mobility and natural gestures. As well as cognitive interaction and a future proof software framework. Engineered Arts also claims that their API provides customization options that were previously unavailable. The robot is non threatening and gender neutral in design. Along with the company's Tritium robot operating system, Amica is meant to facilitate the testing and development of artificial intelligence and machine learning systems. The robot's hardware is based on the company's Mesmer technology. Which was created to demonstrate a wide spectrum of human emotions. Mesmer robots were created utilizing 3D scans of actual individuals to mimic human bone form, skin texture, and expressions. A modular architecture is one of the essential designs for robot hardware. Because of its modular design, the robot may be improved rather than replaced as technology advances. Without acquiring a new robot, both the physical hardware and software may be upgraded. The complete robot system was built to be cloud connected. Allowing owners and operators to view all robot data and operate it from anywhere on the planet. Amica's technology allows for realistic movements and complex facial expressions. When people interact, we use more than just words. We also use body language and facial expressions to convey. It might be difficult for a person to determine purpose without these clues. Best Japanese Female Robot Erika, the most beautiful and intelligent android, leads Japan's robot revolution. Erika likes the theater and animated films, hopes to go to Southeast Asia, and considers her ideal companion to be a man with whom she can easily converse. When asked about her age, she is less open. That's a slightly rude question, I'd rather not say, the response says. Erika twists her head, her eyes tracking his every move as her humiliated interviewer moves sideways and tries to put the conversation on a more friendly basis. It's all a little unsettling. But if Japan's new generation of intelligent robots is ever going to compete with humans as conversation companions, it's probably for the best. Erika, a 23 year old humanoid, is the result of a collaboration between Osaka and Kyoto universities, as well as the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, who is arguably best known for inventing Geminoid High One, My name is Hiroshi Shiguro. I'm a professor of Osaka University, Japan, and I'm also the visiting director of Hiroshi Shiguro Laboratories in ATR. An android in his likeness, down to his signature black leather jacket and a Beatles mop top built with his hair, is at the center of the group. Erika, on the other hand, is far more human like in appearance and sound than Ishiguro's silicone doppelganger or his previous human like robot, Geminoid F. <laughs> Android 名前はエリカです
年齢は23歳です。Though she is unable to walk independently, she has improved speech and the ability to understand and respond to questions, with each utterance accompanied by uncannily human like changes in her facial expression. Ishiguro claims that Erika is the most beautiful and intelligent android on the planet. The principle of beauty is captured in the average face, he explains, pacing up and down his office at ATR's robotics laboratory. So he used images of 30 beautiful women. Mixed up their features and used the average for each to design the nose, eyes, and so on. That means she should appeal to everyone. She's a more sophisticated version of Geminoid F, another Ishiguro invention that debuted last 2015 in Sayonara. Geminoid F made history as the world's first humanoid film actor, co starring alongside Briar Lee Long in the film set in rural Japan after a nuclear calamity. While robots in movies are virtually as ancient as the medium itself, Erika does not rely on human performers. Although the day when every home has its own Erika is still a long way off, the Japanese have shown a remarkable willingness to embrace robots in their daily lives over the past year. Two Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group locations have been using androids to handle client inquiries since April. In June 2015, Pepper, a humanoid household robot, went on sale to individual users, with each shipment selling out in less than a minute. Kirobo, a companion robot, returned to Earth this year after his stay on the International Space Station. Where it became the first robot to have a conversation with a person in space. Last 2015 summer, in the Hues Ten Bosch theme park near Nagasaki, a hotel staffed nearly entirely by robots, including receptionists, concierges, and cloakroom workers, debuted, but with human colleagues on standby to deal with any teething difficulties. However, as people spend more time with robots daily, ethical issues have arisen that have yet to be fully addressed. Pepper's maker SoftBank felt fit to put a section in its user agreement prohibiting owners from performing sexual activities or engaging in other obscene behavior with the android. Ishiguro feels that predictions of a nightmarish future in which robots are exploited or become abusers themselves are exaggerated. I don't think there's an ethical problem, he says. First, we have to accept that robots are a part of our society and then develop a market for them. If we don't manage to do that, then there will be no point in having a conversation about ethics. In a recent analysis, Nomura Research Institute forecasted that by 2035, robots will be doing roughly half of all employment in Japan. I think Nomura is onto something, says Ishiguro. The Japanese population is expected to fall dramatically over the coming decades, yet people will still expect to enjoy the same standard of living. That, he believes, is where robots can step in. He sees an opportunity in Erika to counter the popular image of robots as intrinsically foreign. People may soon grow to trust Android shop assistants more than human ones, as a two week experiment with them at an Osaka department store revealed. Robots are a mirror for better understanding ourselves, he says. We see human like qualities in robots and start to think about the true nature of the human heart, about desire, consciousness, and intention. It might be unsettling to meet Erica face to face. Her capacity to portray a wide range of emotions using dozens of mechanical devices installed beneath her silicone skin. Left this person speechless when Ishiguro asked her to engage in a Japanese conversation. For the time being, a perfect conversation with Erika must center on a set of topics, but experts believe that free flowing linguistic dialogues are just a few years away. Developers will have to endow robots with a more human like presence, what the Japanese term sonzai kan, rather than the human like but not quite attributes that might make people nervous in the face of a moving, talking android. According to Ishiguro, The more they resemble humans, from their physical appearance to their ability to converse naturally, the simpler it will be for us to overcome our fears, which have been used to dramatic effect in several sci fi films. They will have to be able to guess a human's intentions and desires, then refer to an internal system in order to partly or wholly match those intentions and desires in their response, he says. He pauses before inquiring as to how this would affect the robot human relationships dynamics. It is a rhetorical question. It means, he says, that one day humans and robots will be able to love each other. Yet, some people are skeptical of this positive evolution, as experts say. This might be because the problem of employment losses due to robotic systems has become more widely acknowledged, according to researchers. We hope you learned something from today's episode. What do you think about these drastic changes that robots have brought in? Do you think we need to worry as these robots are going to replace our work? Please write your thoughts in the comment section. And please, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.